This is a plan with me in my Hobonichi weeks for the week of June 24th. If you'd like to see how I pulled this spread together, then just keep watching. Hi guys, it's Courtney. Welcome back to Poppy and Gray. We are doing a plan with me in my Hobonichi weeks. There is a look back at last week with that really pretty kit. I think it was from Plan for Happy. Um, this week I am not using a kit. Um, I don't really have a plan, but I pulled this washi that I really, really like. So we're going to see kind of just what happens. Um, I am using some stickers from a couple of my Happy Planner books. I think I have the Colorful Boxes, the Farmhouse, and the Simply Lovely books. And I am just going to start by laying that washi down at the bottom. Um, that pink sort of Scandinavian design and the yellow that goes with it are really old. They're from a Planner Society kit probably like three years ago. I haven't gotten the Planner Society in a really long time, so it's probably three years old maybe. Um, and then I just tear a piece of that red and white stripe off. And I am going to add some of these florals from, I think that's from the Farmhouse sticker book. And like I said, I'm not really sure what I'm doing. I don't have like a plan in mind. I'm just kind of going with it. And I think I was trying to decide like if I was going to track the weather, where I was going to track it. Um, so yeah, and then I add some washi at the top. And it's just like a piece of each of the tapes that I'm using. And I didn't really stick it down like at first because I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep it there, but um, it ends up staying, so. I do like how this really thin washi looks, but I don't know if it's the nature of how thin it is. I've never found a, a really thin washi that sticks very well. So, um, and yeah, then I'm gonna add the last one. And you can see, I didn't really use any scissors. I just, you know, ripped it off and I like the way that that looks. I'm going to go ahead and add another of those floral stickers at the top. Just to tie into the bottom of the page. Um, yeah, I need to, I don't even remember if I actually ended up cutting those off or not. There's little parts of the flower that are hanging off. So I think I'm going through like looking for boxes that I want to use. So that was one, um, from the colorful boxes sticker book and I end up cutting it down. I'm going to use it for YouTube and blog stuff this week, I think. And I did, didn't really want it to be that long. Um, this isn't like my main planner. It's just the one that goes in my bag. So I don't need all of the things written down. And then I wanted um, to have like a checklist of just like 
random stuff that I needed to do throughout the week. I didn't think that was big enough and I thought it might be too much yellow, which is shocking because yellow is my favorite color. But, um, so I think here I'm just kind of flipping through, seeing if there is something else that I can use. And I decide on like this pink box and then I'm hoping that I can peel a little bit of that floral sticker back, which it was remarkably easy to do. So I knew that I wanted to use that appointment sticker on Thursday for our regular occupational therapy um, appointment. But while I'm looking for something to layer it, I find that tracker and I just want to track my reading. I'm finding out that like if I'm tracking it, I'm more likely to do it. <laughs> Um, and I find another like circle sticker. I think it said like get it girl or something, but I really just wanted that pop of color behind that appointment label. Um, yeah, I don't know why I'm pointing to that. It's kind of like an easy week. We don't have a ton of stuff going on. Um, my husband is actually traveling for work this week and I just don't have the energy to make a ton of commitments if I'm going to be like the lone parent this week. Um, and then I think I wanted to use that box, but I felt like it was a little too big. And I decided to keep all of my stuff to the left of the page because I was going to track the weather over there as well. And I'm kind of flipping through to see if I, if I have just some functional stickers that I can use. Um, I can't really find one that's like the right color. And then I decide to use this bow box, which I'm not sure where that's from. It could be from the planner shack. Um, it doesn't really matter because it doesn't stay. I end up pulling it up, but. <laughs> and then that colorful box sticker that I was trying to use, I end up cutting, like, I think it said like today's plan or something. I end up cutting a little bit of it off and just layering some washi over it and putting it down on Saturday. And then I remember that I have some little tiny stickers left over from a Hobonichi Weeks kit that I used a couple weeks before. So I pull up that bow box um, and put down like a sticky note with a bow. And then that's just a little box on Tuesday. Um, I decide to go ahead and use the, the extra date covers from that kit as well. Um, and I feel like that looks a little bit plain. So I just take some washi and put it down to kind of back the sticker. And that is really pretty much it. I'm going through, I know there's like a sticker that I wanna use from the journaling book, but I can't find it. That's also where I'm going to get my weather trackers from. Oh, there's like a little craft or stack of washi that I'm putting down on Tuesday to mark Rowan's art class. And then there's the little like thumbtack that I was looking for.
So I am going to use the weather stickers from this journaling sticker book from the Happy Planner. Um, I had debated kind of water coloring down that side since these are on white paper and then coloring them in, but ultimately I just left them as they were. We are finally getting a few days of sunshine here, which is awesome because it's been raining nonstop for like a week. And you will see I went ahead and filled in the temperatures for the weather and the all of the appointments that I knew we had. I am using that little laptop with a bow for Plan for Happy to mark blog and YouTube stuff. I am also going to use this little like peeking girl um, also from Plan for Happy on my task list. And Monday, <laughs> I just use that uh, giant mug of coffee from Print Petticoat Bandit um, because we really didn't do anything on Monday. It rained all day. So yeah, I basically cleaned and drank coffee, good times. So I am looking for like a little quote or something to add to that page. I could have left it blank, but I think we all know I'm not really a minimalist, so. Um... And I think I'm also looking for like a to-do header to put on that list, but I don't really, I end up using one from the, I think it's called like the So Lovely Happy Planner sticker book. I don't love the font, but it will do. Oh, there was a sticker that said like family time but I kind of felt like it was a little busy down there, so I didn't end up using it. Um, So yeah, I find this quote, I think it says you are magic, which I'm not super sure that I believe that I'm magic. Rowan once asked me if I knew how to do magic, but, and then I just used the to do sticker and yeah, pretty much call it a done spread. I added that little sticky note on Thursday and Friday. We don't really have anything planned, or I'm sorry, Friday and Saturday, but you never know. So I love how this turned out, shockingly enough. The colors really make me very, very happy. And I'm deciding, should I add a floral at the top? Maybe that's too much, but can you ever have too many florals? 
No, you cannot. So I end up putting it at the bottom of the other page. So yeah, that is the completed spread. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like to see how it ends up looking, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Poppy and Gray Plans. All of my socials will be linked down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button if you want to see more from me and I will see you in my next video. Bye.